Tēnā koutou katoa, salamat siang semuanya. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, my name is Brent. I would like to uh, make a short video about um, my interest, involvement and passion for Indonesia and Indonesian language in particular. I want to just go over some really good reasons to learn this language, especially for English speakers and even for Māori speakers here in New Zealand. Um, let me start, let's get into it real quick. All right, point one. It uses the Roman alphabet. Bahasa Indonesia does not have a different script that we, that English speakers can't read and write. It uses the alphabet that we that we know. So for that reason, you can read and write this language relatively easy. All right. Um, unlike Mandarin, Japanese, or Thai, etc., whereby they have uh, not only different you know words, it's a different language, but it has a different script. So to learn those languages effectively, you have to learn a new written language as well. And that's not the case with Indonesian. Another reason is that there are no tones, no set tones in Indonesian. Um, so, the pitch that you say a word at doesn't drastically affect the meaning, which can happen in Mandarin, Japanese, and in Thai. Um, so, there's no tones to worry about. Of course, natural tone is in the way people express themselves, just like in English, um, but there are no set tones. Indonesia has the world's fourth largest population, 263 million. Um, so it is no small language in the sense of uh, numbers, just sheer scale. Um, Indonesia, if you don't know, is a very diverse place with hundreds, literally hundreds of local languages, which are, you know, different. But by and large, everybody in Indonesia speaks Indonesian. So you are learning a language that's spoken by many. As a developing country, Indonesia um, is not yet really on the map, so to speak. So by that I mean, it's not a widely talked about, um, known about country and culture. But with numbers like that, 263 million, world's fourth largest population, um, and it's developing relatively quickly, um, I believe in the, in the foreseeable future that Indonesia will, will arrive. Indonesia will suddenly be there. Um, and so for those of you who uh, contemplate language learning uh, for, you know, economic and opportunity, career, etc. It also has, I believe, um, great, great options in that, in that area. Um, for Māori speakers or speakers of other Polynesian languages such as Tongan, Samoan, Hawaiian, Tahitian, etc. Um, Indonesian has many similarities to, to those cultures and languages, especially language. Uh, there are literally dozens if not hundreds of shared words and similar words. So if you speak Māori already, or Samoan or Tongan, or etc. Um, the leap to Indonesian is relatively small. Yes, of course, it takes effort and time. I mean, it's not easy per se, but it's easier than learning uh, many other languages, especially Asian languages that have tones and different uh, written scripts, etc. If you should travel to Indonesia, now of course Indonesia is a, is a very big place, thousands, literally I think around 17,000 islands, 700 local languages, many ethnicities and tribal groups. Um, if you should travel there, Indonesian is, is, is used all across Indonesia of course, but you know the, the famous part of Indonesia is Bali, so if you've been to Bali or planning a trip to Bali or maybe go there in the future, you can speak Indonesian there as well. Um, yeah, so. Bahasa Indonesia, a really great um, entry, especially an entry into the world of languages and or Asian languages in particular. So you may not even stop at Indonesian. It might just be what you might consider it or use it as a, as a gateway into Asian language. Um, Indonesia for us here in New Zealand is actually our closest Asian neighbor as well. As little as it's talked about, as little as it's known about by most people, um, it's actually closer than China, Japan, Korea, Thailand, all those other more well-known places and, and places that people go to. Um, so that said, I just want to, uh, you know, open that little window for you perhaps or just get you thinking about the idea that uh, Indonesian is um, a viable option for us to learn at any age, especially for, the, like I say, those speakers of Polynesian including Māori um, languages. Bullet points. No tones uses the alphabet. Millions of people speak this language. It's a developing country with all sorts of uh, travel, economic and career opportunities and even just meeting people and making friends. Okay, terima kasih banyak. That means thank you very much. Have a great day. Semoga harimu menyenangkan. Kia ora.